Greetings to everyone out there and welcome back to Around the Clock. And as you can see in the title of this video, did Sephiroth in the whole hashtag free melee movement? And this is the question that I had on my mind for the past couple of days. And I'm really wondering, did this actually happen? Because we all know the situation of what's going on with this hashtag free melee movement. The big house was planning to have their annual Super Smash Brothers tournament, but this year things had to be different because of all of the restrictions that's going on with COVID-19. So this tournament was going to be online and they were planning to play Super Smash Brothers Ultimate along with Super Smash Brothers Melee, but they were using a mod for Melee called Slippy, which Nintendo deemed to be illegal and Nintendo shut the whole thing down. This caused many people to go into an uproar and they did so on all forms of social media. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and YouTube claiming that Nintendo is very unfair, they never cared about the Smash community, and they're the worst company ever, and that they're boycotting Nintendo stating that, yes, hashtag free melee, and this whole hashtag free melee thing has been going on ever since. This even trickled over to the Splatoon community because there was going to be a Splatoon 2 online open which was scheduled December 5th through the 6th, and this was going to be a live streamed event. But during the team rankings and standing portion, there were a lot of people using the hashtag free melee within their names. A lot of people just used their whole name as free melee, as you can see here, and meleeation, a lot of things like this. And Nintendo shut the whole live stream down. They didn't shut down the tournament, but they did shut down the live stream. And again, this caused many other people to go online and make videos and all types of things claiming that Nintendo is the worst. They've done it again. They're the worst company ever. Hashtag free melee. But then something strange happened. On the morning of the Video Game Awards 2020, Nintendo tweeted out this. A new Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Fighter will be revealed tonight at the Game Awards. Tune in to the show beginning at 4 p.m. Pacific time to be ready for the reveal. And after word of this got around on the internet, those same people that were so-called protesting Nintendo with this hashtag free melee thing, they were excited like the first time they saw that initial trailer for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. They had that smash ball gleam in their eye and everything. It was pretty funny to see, especially here on YouTube. People were making prediction videos all day and then it happened. The Video Game Awards of 2020 started off with a bang, which would have to be the best, the best announcement all night. We got our first look at Challenger Pack 8 and Fighters Pass 2 and it was none other than Sephiroth from Final Fantasy 7. And these same fans went bonkers all over the internet. They were making reaction videos and doing all types of things like this. And I just wonder again, did this end the whole hashtag free melee movement? Because these same people that I saw, especially here on YouTube, weeks, days, and hours leading up to that announcement on Twitter that yes, there will be a new Super Smash Bros. Ultimate character revealed at this year's Game Awards. They were all about that hashtag free melee life. Now, it's all about Sephiroth. So I'm a little bit confused. I thought Nintendo was the worst. I thought it was boycott Nintendo. So why are you making reaction videos? You know, all on Twitter saying that, oh my goodness, Sephiroth is finally in Smash Ultimate. Please, someone make this make sense. With that being said, that's gonna do it for this video. What are your thoughts on everything that was discussed here? Please let me know down in the comment section below. And as always, remember to keep it locked here to Around the Clock, where here, we focused on Nintendo gaming news around the clock. Catch you guys in the next one.